Hello everyone, Crow here. Without wasting time, no gimmicks, no ads, no BS, let's get straight into the 25 tips to take your gameplay to the next level. Before the patch to Cassidy's Magnetic Grenade, it used to have stick damage, which made it difficult to combo for a kill on slept targets. But with the change removing the stick damage, you can now easily burst a sleeping target without waking them up. You can extend the duration of Torbjorn's ultimate by shooting the remainder of your Coom directly up into the sky. The timer for the entity only begins after it has landed onto the ground, which is a pretty useful one for locking down chokes if you need that extra second of time. Momentum carries through Symmetra's teleporter, so Junkrat can place a concussion mine on the spawn door early before taking the teleporter to take positions extremely quickly at the start of a game. Ramatra gains additional armor when going into Nemesis form. This also means that if you get booped off in this state, you give players more ult charge. In other words, if you're about to die from being booped off, make sure to cancel Nemesis form to avoid giving extra ult charge to enemies. Annihilation is popped. Ooh, I did a drop down to you. The sleep effect on Ana's sleep dart has been reduced to 3.5 seconds on tanks, so tank players rejoice. Now, even if you get slept, you have enough time to escape before getting bursted down. Echo cannot duplicate heroes through shields or when line of sight is lost. In order to avoid hazard like this in the middle of a fight, you can turn on the duplicate requires target confirmation setting. As you can see, the setting can ignore shields if you've locked down the ultimate, allowing you to use duplicate. Similarly, you can use the same setting for Ana's nano boost to temporarily ignore the line of sight check required to use the ultimate. When you use Arisa's ult normally, enemies in front of you will be pulled directly into your face, but if you jump before using the ultimate, you can pull enemies behind you. In most situations, jump ulting is favorable because players generally attempt to escape by heading back to their original position. Like we've talked about in our previous bug videos, there are a ton of concurrency issues in Overwatch 2 coding logic. Zarya, for example, can lose bubble when it's attempting to shield allies as the cooldown returns from 0 to 1. Ramatra's ultimate can get cancelled if you punch, ult, and shift at the same time. Similarly, if you use Mercy's ultimate while you're flying to an enemy, the Guardian Angel cooldown doesn't get reset like it's normally supposed to. And even Doomfist has the issue where you attempt to punch and seismic slam at the same time, your punch disappears. But maybe this one's by design. Back to Echo, normally Echo's flight ability makes you fly slowly after an initial boost, but instead you can change the hold to flight setting to on to do a super jump. To super jump as Echo, all you need to do is hold space while you quickly tap left shift to launch yourself vertically up for a quick escape or a surprise entry. Kitsune Rush can be blocked by terrain and obstacles on the map. The rule of thumb for whether the ultimate will get stopped or not depends on whether you can jump over the object. If you can't jump over it, the ult gets blocked, but if you can make the jump, Kitsune Rush will also successfully deploy over the obstacle. As an example, because you can jump over the head on the statue on Night Market, Kitsune Rush can deploy over it as well. On certain maps, you can check the enemy team composition using audio cues on the hero select screen. You can hear everything around the location the hero select screen camera is located. This can be utilized on maps like Midtown, Oasis, Circuit Royal, Dorado, etc. to know the enemy composition early. Sojourn! Widow. Widow. Oh, you can change it. You can change the trajectory of Life Weaver's healing by flicking. Life Weaver's healing can go through walls and objects, so you don't have to worry about the healing being stopped. But his healing can be stopped with shields and may walls. So by heal flicking, you can change the trajectory of Life Weaver's healing to go around the enemy shields. In most cases, flicking down to the ground tends to be the most effective way to circumvent the shield placement. Heal flicking takes a longer time to travel because of the altered trajectory, but this also means you can use the delayed delivery to weave in an additional burst of of healing to the target for a quick bit of extra HP. The devs have been adding numerous ways to prevent Life Weaver from trolling in games. If you enter an area that would result in an environmental kill, Life Grip becomes deactivated. The ability stays deactivated even if you use Pedal Platform to get above such areas. And if you are to pull an ally towards you with the ledge in front, the ally will be placed in the nearest area that is not the ledge. Life Grip's position cannot be changed using his dash. The ability does not reset cooldowns even if you swap heroes, so you can't abuse use it like the infinite res mechanic for mercy, which means there are only two ways for life weavers to troll in game. First is by utilizing May's ice wall to create an artificial ground, and pulling your ally as the wall is about to disappear. 
The second is by pulling allies into incoming traffic. Beyond that, other methods of trolling are virtually impossible now with these mechanisms, so that's a dub for the dev team. Like Maze Wall, you can use the flower to lock enemies in chokes in small room. Because Pedal Platform has 400 HP, it can actually be pretty useful like Maze Walls. There are currently three abilities that can pass through Pedal Platform. The first is Reinhardt's Fire Strike, the second is Ramatra's Punches in Nemesis form, and finally, Moira's Coalescence. Like Junkrat's Trap, Pedal Platform lasts forever until it becomes activated, so it's highly recommended to place the flower down before and after teamfights to maximize the use of the cooldown. The momentum provided by Life Grip can be stacked with other movement abilities to accelerate further for a super jump. You can utilize the momentum stacking to enable various combo plays like this one. The wall climb passive has a bug where you can wall climb multiple times by tapping forward then tapping jump in perfectly timed intervals, but it can be pretty difficult to execute. This is what the bug looks like from another player's view. Realistically, you could use it around 1-2 to two times consecutively to boost the max height of your wall climb. Similarly, Genji and Hanzo can use the same bug since they have the same wall climb passive, but specifically for Hanzo, his leap will get cancelled in the process, so you can climb walls horizontally as well. For this one, you need to use the bug while quickly turning into the wall, but it's even more difficult than the basic wall climb bug. This one is for all the runaway train fans. Reinhardt's hammer swing can be cancelled by activating his shield, but if you use right click to cancel, your point of view will quickly flash to third person. But to solve this, you can bind a shield to the scroll wheel, which will allow you to cancel your changing POV and reduce the amount of downtime between your swings. The scroll wheel makes it easier to use the cancel and your damage output increases slightly as well. Most players will use a mouse to swap heroes when using Symmetra to get an early start with Teleporter, but when you swap to Symmetra, you can leave your cursor on the hero you'll be switching back to and press space to lock in as Symmetra. After deploying the Teleporter, Order, if you open the hero select screen again, your cursor will display where you left it, removing the need to find the original hero you need to swap back to. But one thing to keep in mind is that the cursor position resets if you set it too early, so make sure to do this just a bit before the spawn door opens. In Overwatch 2, Brigitte's combo is melee shield bash whip shot. This can one shot tracer with an instant 155 damage, and for 200 HP targets, you'll want to mix in two additional auto attacks before doing the combo, and make sure to hold up your shield to block the additional damage in between your auto attacks. Junker Queen's ultimate can travel further by using Shout for an extra speed boost. And as an update on our ultimate one trick team, we successfully secured a spot in Contenders. So stay tuned to see our team appear in the Contenders YouTube channel, cast it in English as well. That's all for today folks, and I'll see you in the next one.